Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. You guys ready? God is good, and for each day that passes, brings us a day closer to the launch of Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. Today, I'm going to be discussing the mount and taming and travel information we got from Joppa on the Parting the Veil interview with Minus. Firstly, let's get this out of the way. Pantheon will be an MMO that does not have flying mounts. Having the ability to skip the world and content would negate a large portion of the explorability and the style of MMORPG that Pantheon Rise of the Fallen is. Flying mounts would break the gameplay loop. And Joppa reiterated that as long as he is on the team, flying mounts will not be in this game. Now beyond that- What the hell was that? That Pantheon Rise of the Fallen is- What the fuck? <laughs> is this real? This is like a phone game from 2010. Flying mounts would break the gameplay loop. It's and Joppa reiterated that as long as he is on the team, flying mounts will not be in this game. Now beyond that, before we get into the deep taming system Pantheon has, let's talk about- uh, Okay, there's the strength, stamina, constitution, wisdom, charisma, acclamation, next level, mastery. Okay, so this is all pretty much makes sense. All right. Out regular travel. Joppa discussed how he feels that MMOs have become too instant and too much like a lobby or mobile game in the accessibility and how quickly. <laughs> oh, yeah, this one's not a mobile game in terms of accessibility, only in terms of how it looks. Players can do the content and just jump from one theme park ride to another. However, there is a uh -huh. balance for things to be fun and enjoyable. As you probably already know, there is sprinting in Pantheon and abilities that certain classes will get to enhance. Oh, I mean, is, is sprinting, I mean, isn't that like making the game go too fast, guys? I mean, shit. It's like you did, you know, you put spreading in the game, and we're just gonna be sprinting everywhere. I mean, like, it's, it's gonna be like the Olympics or something, man. It's gonna be crazy. Madness that ability and sprinting will become a huge part of your general on foot travel but what uh -huh. about when you need to travel vast distances because terminus in pantheon rise of the fallen is a huge world and a port is not available from another player and yes druid and wizard ports are going to be in pantheon of course but we'll require real people to do that for you if you aren't one yourself so here we go dial a port let's go also feature creep was mentioned because i know you are all thinking it and before you head into the Comments to let me know about that. They did ensure that the mount system, and you can fact check this yourself, it is true, all the way back to Brad McQuaid's original vision, has always been part of the vision. They just weren't ready to reveal it until now, due to not being 100% sure until now exactly how it would work. And now they know, and well, enter their mount and taming system. Now there is a skill for taming that can be acquired in the world, and something you must get better at. But as you skill up, you will learn to I cannot understand how anybody can watch this and think this makes me want to play Raid Shadow Legends. Okay, turn-based combat. Yes, it's turn-based combat and it's not a turn-based game required in the world and something you oh must get God. better at but as you skill up you will learn to be able to tame certain creatures in the world the ones that developers have deemed as something mountable this will allow faster travel but joppa okay. made it clear that he hasn't been satisfied with any mount in any mmo to date he feels the inertia and feeling of weight is missing in mmorpg mounts and he hopes to bring a greater sense of having a mount feeling different and feeling real and visceral this will tie into different skills such as handling as something you will get better at and the controls tighten up for example another skill mentioned is will this so it's like dragon riding okay this is tied to how long the mount will allow you to ride it but then he goes into more about the Does will skill away? saying it is going to roll independently of the other stats regardless of the level or rarity of the mount will decides how long you can ride the mount without stabling it and we'll come back and talk more about stabling mounts in a bit oh there God. will be items that can be equipped to your mounts as well much of this it sounds like will be crafted by players but you can expect an That's inventory cool. section in the ui for equipping things to mounts there will also be some class abilities for certain 
classes such as the druid that enhance the mount in one way or another. Now, sure. when trying to tame an animal to ride it, you must have a you must be a, above it in level, and you must also Makes have sense. enough skill for taming to tame it. Then, depending on your level versus the animal and your skill level, it will roll stats for the animal if you succeed. The higher the level the animal, the higher the pool it can roll into. So in other words, there's a lot going on here behind the scenes, and it sounds like it will add a lot to general gameplay loops and getting... You know what this, this game reminds me of? It's like taking a game like Sonic the Hedgehog and then turning it into Quop. That's what this that's what this game feels like. It's like a Quop but the MMO. All of these unnecessary fucking annoying time wasting mechanisms like oh well we yes Quop. You know the game I'm talking about, right? This game. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, 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 yeah, this is, this is playing Pantheon, okay, guys? This is trying to, trying to get through the systems in Pantheon. Uh, we're doing great, yeah. <laughs> Fuck it, like, oh, this... <laughs> now you just lost a level. Higher level animal mounts will be very desirable for players to hunt and get. There will be rare mounts out in the world as well, of all level ranges. Joppa mentioned a Thunderpaw bear, for example, in Pantheon. If you find one, you can tame, and to be rare, it would actually, he called it Dauntless, which means instead of rolling into a primary stat, it would roll into two primary stats. Endurance and stability, for example. So going beyond just looking cool, it actually is a better mount. He also pokes some fun at how we have become accustomed to a mount just being an icon in our backpack and then went on to talk about gaining a bond with your mount and this immediately brought me back to ultima online where your mount could die and having one made exploring and traveling so much better as well as a sign of prestige to have a cool mount now let's hear from the sponsors of this channel before we continue with the rest of the information there's a lot more to dig into so don't go nowhere and if you'd like to help support the channel please consider joining to help keep me full time real quick i want to give a shout out to the members of napa they have strapped on their armor and are casting the spells of awesome by supporting this channel and keeping me full time every month. Thank you so very much. And I think you are interested in becoming a member. You can do so by clicking join down below this video and pick a level. I feel like this reminds me of the Rudy Giuliani <laughs> tweets about the My Pillow guy. It gives me that kind of vibe. That's the first thing that I can think of, man. ...that is right for you. And I would like to give a very special thank you to the Lords of Napalm, Bounty Coat, Jared Woodhouse, Dimelos, Farthest Reach, Sparrow, Christopher Hensel, Random Rob, Kenneth Kramer, Rodney Mom, Zelic Lynn, Xander, like Gallery Moonsong. I don't What's even know. the takeaway? Thank you for your highest tier membership. Yeah, I don't even... Yeah, now, it, let's talk about stables. Are, now, before we get into this, understand that the page, purpose of mounts now, okay. is to help you on your way, not to replace walking all of the time. The uh -huh. whole purpose of the intricate taming system is that this just adds to the exploration the Pantheon has. Mounts are not meant to replace the exploration aspects of Pantheon. The general idea is that eventually the mount will have had enough will status, how that is decided, and buck you off and return to the wild. However, Pantheon Rise of Palm wants there to be a bit of permeance with mounts so once you reach level 20 and you can get the taming ability and you now have the ability to get a stable slot now it's not just given to you wow. it will cost a decent amount of in-game gold as well as skilling up your taming a bit to unlock it then you can register an animal which is now available to you as long as it is stable there if you get knocked off from taking damage while riding it will not leave but if you get off of it and leave it alone for too long unattended it will return to the stable you also can't tame another man this combat is so bad this it, it's like what is how can anybody i don't understand how anybody can support this i i don't get it i i i really do not understand it i i i cannot even begin to understand it
particular animal while yours is out with you. So as you can see, this will help you perhaps get to the dungeon, for example, and once again, you've earned that right at this point. However, the trip back will need some hiking or looking for another animal to tame back. This system allows the mountain taming system to stay relevant even after you've found your forever stable mount of choice. And this doesn't detract from the gameplay loop of exploration and danger of the world. You will likely not just be charging through mobs with your mount, whether it is temporary or a stabled, because you'll get knocked off and likely I'm going to assume you're going to take a stun while slamming into the ground, leaving you prone and able to be picked apart by the mobs. Now, of course, I kind of get a little exaggerative with that, but it sounds extremely likely. Some other interesting beans was Joppa mentioned that Black Rose Keep, which we've seen this dungeon many times before, that there is a rumor in the lore that there are some prestigious horse mounts in that area. So don't think the dungeons won't have some taming opportunities as well. Overall, this sounds like everything else we learned about Pantheon Rise of the Fallen, an interesting and deep system that takes the foundation of something great in MMORPGs and is attempting to make it better and keep that classic spirit of MMORPGs as well. Now let me know what you think about all this information in the comments down below and don't forget to like the video and hit subscribe if you like MMOs because that's what we do here all day every day. And we are working to become a top contender in MMORPG content on YouTube. If you'd like to throw me a bone or two to help me pay the bills, please consider dropping a super thanks as well. And until next time, my friends, God bless and happy gaming. I I can't understand how people get excited about this game. I don't understand it. Whenever I watch the gameplay for this game, the guy's video was fine. There's nothing wrong with the guy. The guy's great. But how, how, how can you watch this? How can you watch this? I... Uh, I don't understand it. It... This is made on Unreal Engine 1. Yes. I am just so... I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say or anything. It's just, listen, give the guy some support. He needs it, all right? This guy needs all the support he can get. Because God knows this fucking game isn't going to be giving it to him. Oh my God, I'm so, I feel so bad for this guy, man. Like, I do, like, he needs some support. Here's the video. This game made you speechless. I, I, I just, I, I don't understand how anybody can watch this and get excited for it. This is... There is... <sighs> it... Let me read the comments. I think for all you do, so excited for the depth and immersion the system implies. No flying mounts, maybe love this game 25% more instantly. I... Oh, man. I... For their sake, I hope Pantheon is everything that they want it to be. Because... It's not for me. I will play this game when it comes out. I will play Pantheon when it comes out because I will, uh, you know, take a look at the game. I'll ex explore and see what the game has to offer. I don't know how long that stream is going to be. I have no idea. Wow.